The number of people seeking to be naturalized citizens is on the rise. Immigration officials say the spike in applications may be due to several factors, including the upcoming presidential elections. Our Texas border reporter Oscar Margain talks to some of these citizens who now have the power to vote. Domestic. 53 U.S. residents take the oath to become citizens in the latest naturalization ceremony in the Texas Rio Grande Valley. This group represents a fraction of an 18 percent jump in naturalization applications. Just last week, there were more than 7,000 new citizens. Compared to nationwide, we have 78,000 more filings this year than the previous year. The USCIS field director says several factors are playing into the surge in citizens, including an application price hike in October and the presidential election in November. Even though organizations are encouraging legal residents to become citizens, Limon says voting registration at these ceremonies are not influenced by the upcoming elections. You now have the right to vote. Father and daughter Juan and Nidia Rivera have been legal residents for more than two decades. They say their decision to become citizens wasn't influenced by the current political environment. Nevertheless, they are aware of the power they now have to shape the election. Juan says everyone has their way to express themselves and he respects that, but wishes that the Latino voice was respected as well. I just don't think attacking other cultures is the way to get to presidency. Juan and Nidia are not saying who they're supporting, but sure, they'll be heading to the polls and make use of their newly constitution-given rights. At this point, officials say there is no clear evidence that the rise in citizen applications are directly related to either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton running for president. However, they do expect the numbers to continue to climb, at least through the fall. In McAllen, near the Texas border, Oscar Morgan reporting. And also, it's been a while since we've seen any rainfall. Here's a look at 2016, month by month. So far in July, barely any. Will we buck that trend? We'll take a look at that and also the latest on the burn bans coming up next.